Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Oka Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. Today will be super helpful video to any of you having a Ford C-Max, Ford Fusion or Lincoln MKZ with a hybrid engine or hybrid energy engine and you have check engine light on and code P0325 that relates to knock sensors. Today we will explain what can easily cause that and how to fix it. It could be up to three things and one of them is a common mistake people make so make sure to stay until the end and we will explain what it is. Before we start, let me tell you a little bit about us, guys. Every single car we get here at the garage, we try to make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Why we do that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video. That way we can keep making these absolutely free videos. Another thing, if you want to save quite a bit of money on car parts, tools, uh, anything for your car, guys, check out the link in the description of the video below. That's where we get all our tools and supplies from. So let's go ahead and start on it now. So let's go ahead, open the hood, we'll show you what we have specifically here. Now, uh, this is a Ford C-Max, but the same engine has been used in Ford C-Max, Ford Fusion, Lincoln MKZ. And uh, uh, the only downside for the C-Max is you have less room to work with, guys, because of the way the front end is designed. So, uh, if you guys need a good little scanner that's very cheap to read code, the lead code, see live data, I'll put the link in the description of the video below where you can get it from. I always keep one of those in my glove box in every vehicle. It's so inexpensive, but it gives you peace of mind. If something goes bad, you get a check engine light on on the road, you can quickly scan it and find out what's wrong with it. We're going to go ahead and remove the upper engine cover. For any of you that need help with that, we have the complete video on the channel that will teach you that step by step. Let's go ahead, stick a light here in the intake mode manifold so I can actually show you guys where the knock sensor is and what can cause these codes. So if you look right here now, okay, uh, right here, let me, let, let's go ahead, okay, and uh, remove the, uh, uh, the support for the hood so I can get the camera in there, okay, because otherwise it's almost impossible. And if you look right there in the corner you come, that right here guys is your knock sensor. Okay, let me get something to point with, okay. Let me focus quick, perfect, that right there guys is your knock sensor, okay, right there. That knock sensor is the one that will, will trigger your code, but uh, often it could be a bad knock sensor and if you want to see how to test the knock sensor, we have a complete video that will teach you how to do that on our main YouTube channel, how to repair guys. Number two, uh, if it's not a bad knock sensor, it could be a loose connector wire that goes right here. Uh, okay, you can see the wire, if you follow it from the knock sensor, practically it comes underneath and it comes to that connector right here. Make sure it's plugged in and you don't have a loose wire. Number three, it's a common mistake people make when replacing the knock sensor. It's super, guys, super important uh, to actually go ahead and clean the engine block underneath it to make sure you don't have any sand dust contamination because if you do, the new sensor will not be able to contact the engine block correctly and from vibrations and not being able to contact correctly, that can uh, offset the knock sensor and you can get a uh, code for knock sensor as well. Hopefully, guys, the video will be helpful. If you need to see how to replace it, we have the video on our channel. If you need to buy one, I'll put the link in the description of the video below. Thank you for watching and see you next time.